In this video, I'm going to go through these main add-on preferences, which basically let you customize the add-on in different ways. So as a reminder, you can get to the preferences by going to edit preferences, selecting add-ons, and then just finding PBR painter. And any adjustments you make in here will stay every time you use Blender, even if you uninstall and install PBR Painter, even if it is a new version. Okay, so the first thing under preferences is this button, which is just going to let you check for updates. So when you click that, it's going to do a quick search and then it's going to see if you are using the latest version. If you are, it's going to give you this message down the bottom. If not, it will tell you that there's a new version available and it will give you a couple of links to where you can go to get that, depending on where you bought the add-on. In terms of the preferences, this first one lets you set up where you're going to have your asset directory, which is where you're going to store all of your assets, like these ones I have down here. And I'm going to explain that in depth in another video. I've already gone through these few settings in the getting started video, so if you haven't seen that, check it out. The next preference here determines whether or not your material will automatically refresh every time you make a change. And by default, this is set to cycles only. So in other words, when you're using cycles and you're in render mode, every time you do something in the UI in here, that material will update automatically. But if you're using EV or material preview mode, it means that you get to decide when to refresh the material. And this can be helpful in EV because it reduces the amount of time spent compiling your material. You can change this to never auto refresh, which means that you're always manually refreshing the material, or you can change it to always refresh. Other than this, there are two other categories of preferences. So one is image saving, and this is all of the different settings that determine what happens when you either create new images or modify images within PBR Painter. The final preferences in here is called texture tags, and this is something that will become clearer in later videos, but basically these are tags that let PBR Painter recognize images associated with these different channels. And as you'll see in those later videos, this is for when you want to import a bunch of images at once, and those images automatically get assigned to these different channels based on these names. And that covers everything. I definitely recommend as you go throughout this tutorial series to think about whether or not you want to actually modify those preferences for your later projects. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.